Hi, I'm Yafik. And I'm Yais. Uh, we're both full-time freelance creative. When we were young, we remember that Changi Village Hawker Centre is one of the places that we would visit before and after the visit to Pulau Ubin. I think Hawker Centre in general is specifically designed for the community. Changi Village specifically has this very special rustic design and every little design has its own functions that links back to Singapore's identity as a multicultural society. What I really like about Hawker Centres, of course, is that it's really designed around the convenience for the customer, you know. You can come into a Hawker Centre from any direction, so you can walk around and in five or ten minutes you can look at all the stalls in the Hawker Centre and decide which particular cuisine you want to eat. And that's pretty unique to Singapore's style of Hawker Centres. You don't really see that in any other places. My name is Han Lun Yan. 我大概是在六十五年的时候才来帮忙我父亲呐、啊。早期的时候就是很多那些非法的这些贪旅都排在外面了，所以他们政府来就来开始登记。他不是罚款呐、啊，他跟你登记下来就是说，等他翻新好了以后，你们这些人完全可以进去里面。开始的时候啦，他的设计呢，以前是说做成一个四方形，那些摊位的背面呢向着外面。以前的通风很差，哇、哦啊，你进到里面呢就好像烘面包这样，一路吃一路一路擦汗。现在后来他们开始做这个抽烟筒的，就好了很多了。吃东西也能够很轻轻松松的吃一碗东西，不会觉得很热。我心里没得一样，我在这个张英伟好客先生经营了一波伙伴，差不多有四十四年。以前在巴巴那嘛就没有桌子，打包了就走，这边交了什么朋友啊？现在搬来做写完中心之后呢，桌子在靠近我们窗口。顾客呢都是很有交流，大家都是很高兴。Hi, my name is Mizi, and I'm Iskanda, and we run Mizi Nasi Lemak since 1997. I guess for Changi Village, especially the hawker feel, is more like a kampung because there's no barrier between the kitchen. And people who are gonna serve, so it allows customer to just talk. They just feel that kind of interaction, like they can just say, "How are you today? Wow, the chicken looking good, ah!" So it doesn't create any barrier. It just makes them feel very like homely interaction kind. For me, I totally feel so comfortable if like a friend of mine is eating like non-halal food, and like I can eat my own type of food, but we can still sit on the same table, and like people can come together and like sit beside you. And like talk to you, and that's one of the things that I love about it. I think the intimacy is really important in the hawker centre because you can watch what he's preparing right in front of you, and that's really the magic of what makes it work. I feel it's very much a community space rather than a space just to dine. In a lot of my restaurants, I try and do this counter experience too. You're sitting on a bar counter that puts you eye level with the chefs. So you really try and use that design to replicate the experience you might have in a hawker centre, you know, where you have that close intimacy with the chef who's preparing your food. And I think that means that the dining experience for the guest is much more intimate, it's much more relatable, it's much more um, interactive, and that's something that you, you see in hawker centres all the time. But in a restaurant environment, you have to try and recreate that. The experience of the hawker centre has improved over the years. Hygiene standards have improved, but the basic food is the same, right? You still have the same char kway teow, you still have the same roti prata. But really, the experience of the hawker centre hasn't, in that sense, of being able to foster that community. So I see that as an anchor, really, something that we can always relate back to our childhood, our experience of growing up in Singapore. And I think that's something that we should never take for granted. It's really valuable. We think that because of the singularity of each hawker centre, you can unexpectedly find some unique structures, and by pairing them with the right angles, you can get a pretty nice perspective. The reason why we feel right at home in hawker centre is because of the design, the rows of tables, the open concept of the space. I think it all encourages community bonding, 
And I think this is why hawker centres serve as important place in bringing people from all walks of life in Singapore together, sharing the same space and also kindred love for food.